everyone. In this video, I want to talk about evaluating algebraic expressions. Here are the two problems that we'll do. And to make sure we don't take ourselves too seriously, let's think about the fun question. If you had a secret room in your house, what would you keep in it? And or what would you do in it? Okay, so this lesson falls under al pre-algebra and there are quite a few pre-algebra questions on the math section. Um, variables and expressions like order of operations, um, having to use variables. Uh, this I always see a problem like this on there. I chose problems that are harder, thinking that if you can handle these, then you would definitely get the one right on the test. Okay, so we need to start plugging in a one, a two, and a six, wherever we see an X, Y, and Z. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is rewrite two minus one plus one. We have a five minus six minus two divided by four. Okay, before I do anything, I have to remember Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, what does that stand for? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division. Note, these are, it could technically go D and then M, um, dividing and then multiplying, if the dividing comes first. Okay, so a lot of people forget about that little asterisk with this process. Um, so it's just whatever comes first, and then a s. In fact, a better way to write this is putting the m and the d together like this, and then the a and the s together, because these are like on their own uh, levels together. All right. So what we need to do is target the parentheses. And my goodness, there are a lot of parentheses. So I always recommend going to the innermost set of parentheses and doing that first, okay? So that is right here. Six minus two is four, and then we get five minus four, and then divided by four. So a lot of people right here would go, oh, one divided by four, but wait, we need to remember that we cannot just jump right to subtraction. That's the last thing on the, the to-do list. It is division. So let's do these, th this part right here. So we'll get five minus, that is one. And then sure, we can keep going four, five minus one. Okay, now let's tackle this one. We have subtraction, then addition, that's fine. We're gonna do the subtraction first. Because remember, it's it could be S then A. It just depends on, we'll, we'll just make a note that this is left to right. Whatever comes first. And this one is left to right, whatever one comes first. So subtraction is going before addition. That's fine. I'm going to do one and then bring the plus one down. This is two. So we've got two times four. Final answer is eight. So let's talk about evaluating for a second. Evaluate means to find the value of, and you will be given numbers that you need to sub in for uh, variables. Also note that if these are negative, it's a good idea to put them in parentheses. We don't have that case here, but that does happen quite often. All right, so 1.5 divided by 6 minus 1.5. Oh, then we have lots of parentheses here. I'm just filling everything in, 1.5 squared. All right, so what am I doing first? Parentheses, okay? Gosh, there are a lot of parentheses again. Let's start with the innermost set of parentheses. All right, so 1.5, I'll bring that down. Divided by, bring it down. 
And then let's tackle this part right here. So I'll bring down the 3.6, and then we'll keep this in parentheses. That's going to be 2.1 minus. And then I have an exponent. So in, in the hierarchy here, I've done the P, right, the innermost P. Then, you know, while we're at it, we could do this right here. That's 4.5. You're just uh, simplifying everything in the parentheses as they, as you can. So if you can simplify what is in the parentheses, you do that. Sometimes you can't, like if there's a variable or something. 1.5 squared. You have your calculator and you get 2.25. Okay, so now we have to let parentheses determine what we do first. So can we do anything in this set of parentheses? Yes. So I'm going to multiply before I subtract. <clears throat> I'm using my calculator again because that is fair game. I'm bringing this down and I'm remembering, oh, if I get a division symbol before I get a multiplication symbol, I'm going to do dividing first. <coughs> Excuse me. So 7.56 minus 2.25, 5.31, that's 4.5, and we have to bring that down. Okay, everything in parentheses is simplified. Now, I am going to go left to right. I'm not going to multiply this first. So we have 1.5 divided by 4.5. <clears throat> and that is same thing as 15 over 45. That's just one, let's call that part one third. And then we're going to multiply that by 5.31 and get 1.77. All right, time for some practice. Try these. I tried to pick ones that had a lot of parentheses and a lot of exponents. Why don't you pause the video if you'd like to see the answers? All right, one and 7.7. .7. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Queen Elizabeth. It says, it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps, that bring about the most lasting change. So I really like this, meaning you don't have to make decisions to do anything profound and huge. You just have to take that next proper step towards whatever goal you're, you're wanting to achieve. I hope this video benefited you in some way and feel free to leave your answer to the fun question in the comments. I hope you have a good day.